Hello, Paula, and thank you so much for agreeing to do this interview today. You're welcome. Um, I'm first of all really interested in your book and the writing process you went into, but also there's the, the interesting story about Prince William and Kate and the baby, so I'd love you to share that as well. Um, but to begin with, can you tell me a little bit about you and what brought you to, to write the book in the first place? Well, the writing of the book came about for several reasons, really. The main one being that I'm planning to retire, and a lot of my hypnobirthing mums actually said, oh, you can't retire, you know, your, your method is really good for hypnobirthing, and they really were the driving force in helping me to write my book. And in fact, one of my hypno mums kept me going throughout the entire writing process by checking each chapter as I wrote it and giving me her positive feedback, which was absolutely brilliant. And many of my hypno mums wrote me the testimonials and endorsements as well. So it was sort of a joint effort, really, but, but it was thanks to them. Can you just explain a little bit about what hypnobirthing is, just so people have a, an understanding of, of your expertise? Well, hypnobirthing is simply the use of hypnosis to have as natural a childbirth as possible. Um, one misconception is that hypnobirthing creates a pain-free birth. That is not the case with my inner power hypnobirthing um, because everybody has different pain thresholds. What all hypnobirthing teaches is deep methods of relaxation so that you can have the most comfortable birth that is possible for you. And that's important. So it teaches you how to cope with the pregnancy, how to be calm and relax, how to flood your body with serotonin, the happy hormones that bring about pain relief naturally in the body so that you can then cope with the contractions easily. And by being relaxed, then you can't feel fear. And so you work with your body and the baby literally flows out more easily. And so it also helps you bond with your baby, breastfeed, and very importantly, to get your figure back after the birth. I wish I'd known about it. <laughs> <laughs> so um, what brought you to, to write the book? Was it, was it just, other than the, the women asking you, um, was there a, a yearning to write it as well? Or? Yes, well, I'd never really thought about writing it. I think it was pressure from the hypno mums and thinking it would be nice to leave a legacy after I retire and that it would be something that, people could use because I am very passionate about the use of hypnosis. I got into it myself to control pain of a painful shoulder injury and being a biologist myself that was really how I devised the inner power hypnobirthing because it links the biology of the body with the birth. I feel it's very important that people should know that the female body is designed to give birth and that's what I set out to do in the book. So it's basically a biology lesson and then explaining the use of hypnosis, visualization, relaxation techniques, positive affirmations, looking at the mind-body link that is so powerful in creating changes in how one feels about things. I get quite upset these days that there's so much negativity about the birth and so I hope that my book creates more positivity around the whole process and takes it back to the natural method that it should be. Right, excellent. And um, when you decided to write the book, what were your first steps? How did you go about preparing and um, actually writing? Well, the thing I wanted to do with my book was to make it unique. And the reason it's unique is that it comes with its own CD, which is a hypnobirthing CD or an MP3 that can be downloaded if you buy it on Kindle or um, iBook. And so that was my biggest thing, was to find out how to incorporate all of that. I looked into self-publishing, but that was very difficult to get a CD with it. Um, I hadn't thought about Kindle at that point. I wanted a paper book. Right. And so I was very lucky to find a publisher that was prepared prepared to take this project on, and so they were an enormous help to me. Excellent. Um, I'm hope 
how did you come across the publisher? What was that publishing process like, you know, finding someone who's willing to take the project on? Well, it was looking really at all the publishers that were um, linked with sort of the mind-body aspect. And in fact, I did a lot of research. I went to Smith and <laughs> <laughs> looked at a lot of their books and made a note of all the possible publishers and then got my book proposal together and sent it off and okay. uh, sort of waited until I got various replies. And this was the only company that were interested in looking at my book. And so I had a meeting with them, and that was it. And they've done a brilliant job. Oh, brilliant. And do you think you write another book? Well, yes. I need to fill my time when I'm retired, although I won't have any problem doing that. But I have another two possible books that I, I may write um, Around. if I feel so inclined. And yeah. um, the same subject or something different? Um, different. A lot of people want to know more about self-hypnosis, and I'm not going to be doing any more self-hypnosis training workshop. My last one is in October. So I may write a book about my method of teaching self-hypnosis. And also another thing that I see a lot of clients for is about passing exams and revising efficiently. So I thought I'd write a book called... Um, Learning made easy. Oh, very good. Or passing exams made easy. <laughs> Excellent. So did you find writing easy? Did it come easy to you, or was there a whole learning process behind writing specifically for a, you know, a, a book about hypnosis? Well, I've always enjoyed writing, and I planned it out quite carefully. So I think that was my starting point, to plan it out and work out the chapters. And once I'd done that, the actual writing of the chapters just flowed. Mm -hmm. So I felt very lucky. I mean, I was really writing about something that I've done for 13 years. And so it was just very easy for me because I was writing what I do naturally anyway. So have you any tips, say maybe top three tips for anyone who's thinking about writing about what they do, their own expertise? I think... They need to work out exactly why they're writing their book, who their target audience um, is, and then to plan it. So have some structure to the book before they actually start writing. I found that very helpful for myself to actually plan the various chapters so that the book flowed. And then once I started writing, it just all came together, and I didn't find it a chore at all. I really enjoyed doing it. So no writer's block or anything like that at any time? No, no. <laughs> but again, because it's something I've been doing for so long and with so many people that it, it was a natural thing for me, so I was just describing what I do, really. Excellent. And now for the, uh, the news bit. You sent your book to Kate. Can you tell us that story? That would be brilliant. Yes. Well, when the pregnancy was announced, I thought, well, why not? So I sent her a copy of my book with a covering letter. It was in December, actually, last year. And I got a super letter back from the palace. I've got the, got the letter. <laughs> Which was very nice, saying thank you very much. And then when I heard that she was possibly using hypnobirthing and there was all that hype in the papers, I wrote her another letter reminding her about my book and saying I hoped she was using it and told her about my free MP3 download. And I got a second letter back. So I really do hope she did at least read the book and maybe listen to the CD a few times. Excellent. That must be really nice as well, you know, um, to have that. Yeah. That's the final final part, as you as you say, you're you're looking to retire soon, and it's a nice yeah. way to end things off. Yeah, so, it's very exciting. Yeah. So you're you're looking to retire soon. You might write some books. Um, is there anything else you're going to do with your retirement? Doesn't sound like retirement to me. <laughs> Time to change your career. <laughs> well, I'm sort of yes, cutting down drastically. I'm going to continue doing one hypnobirthing workshop a month. And if clients wish to see me one-to-one, -one, then maybe I can do it over the phone. But I just feel I need more time 
for me to do the reading that I want to do, to enjoy my garden, and to go up to London and see exhibitions, and just spend some more time with myself, really. Sounds yeah. very good. Thank you, Paula, for taking the time out. It's been lovely interviewing you again. Thanks That's for that. That's great. Thank you, Heather. It's a pleasure.